Hey guys, welcome to another live stream, which I have not done forever, and I'm really curious to see who's going to show up for this live stream because I've been so MIA. They need to like create a whole other um, term for MIA, like missing. I'm more like like missing from the planet. So that would be M F T missing from the P M F T P. I'm like the title i'm just gonna jump into it because it's just so frustrating when you watch a live stream and people just don't get to the point so i'm gonna try to do that what's up you can welcome i know it's been a really long time you know you can i haven't done any posts because i haven't received he has not called me he has not texted me he has not emailed me so i can't do live streams when i have no sources anyway sorry about that guys but caviar thank you caviar i know i know it's like M M -O omg i know i'm still alive whatever a long time yeah it's been a long time guys well i'm surprised y'all even joined the stream i thought everyone was gonna be mad like astronaut that am up let's keep it g-rated i'm sorry but that no good blankety blank um but yeah so guys i'm just kind of jumping back in to get my two cents on what's going on with the dlc comments i mean with the dlc information um sindel are y'all enjoying sindel because I've played with her a little bit. Uh, what about you guys? Enjoying playing with her? What do y'all think about uh, how she plays, her moves, and stuff like that? Because I have a ton to say about Sindel. And I wanted to upload a video about uh, my reaction to all the changes that they've done to her. Because, But I had some problems. I kept filming the whole video and something crashing. So I ended up just giving up on the video. Joke a lot better, in my opinion. And Sindel is good, like Variation 3. No, the ghost. Welcome, Nell the ghost. What's up? Um, yeah, so they fixed. I can't see what that. Oh, Joker. They fixed Joker. Yeah. Um, okay, so I guess Joker's kind of what everyone wants to talk about because I kind of missed the whole Sindel hype. So I'll just start with Joker. I'm going to get into an idea about Melina in a second, and then I'll just wrap up with Sindel since everyone has already downloaded her and all that stuff. So, um, but Joker, yes, the Joker does look much better than he did in the trailer because in the trailer he looked like uh he looked like he looked plastic you know what's up chocolate but uh he looked very plastic um and he looked like uh you know even his animation in the trailer looked like he was just kind of like moving like a like a mannequin or something so it just it, you know we could tell i think all the fans were talking at the time that it was like a last minute thing and it looked like a last minute thing because he looked too much like just this mannequin just that was smiling so look like me like, like, like cosplay him <laughs> so but you know we get this kind of like in-game trailer or a little teaser trailer where he's up against cassie k and i'm really pissed guys i'm really pissed that he did not recognize the whole harley quinn outfit on um cassie cage i was I, when i saw it at first i was stoked because i was like okay they put her they put him in a round with cassie with harley quinn cassie cage is he gonna recognize is he gonna make a comment about the, the harley quinn is he going to is there going to be some dialogue talking about her in the game he said nothing what did he say i think he said you look familiar or you look interesting he didn't say anything like just they wanted him to say about that harley quinn skin he should have said like a unique intro exactly thank see buchan that's why you work that's why you work for in or uh for for another realm because you have the ideas that we love thank you buchan i was so mad i was i was i got hyped up i saw cassie cage she had her had, her, had she had the skin on the harley skin the harley quinn skin and i i, I could have sworn joker was gonna say harley quinn oh Wait a minute, I'm sorry, I don't know you. Who are you? You know, or have him say something like, 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 yeah, you know, yeah. It's like, you know, you remind me of an ex-girlfriend I used to know who went psycho. You know, that would be great. That would have been so kick, but, but he didn't, you know. And really, Netherum really needed to make up up for the fact that that initial trailer was such trash when we first saw him. They really should have made up for that. They would have really should have given us some really juicy dialogue. NRS should hire you to create the story for more combat 12. I know, right? They would. I could there's tons. Actually, I would want I would want to do like a remix of Mortal Kombat 11 because there's so much stuff. They got right a lot of stuff with Mortal Kombat 11 and then they got a lot of Mortal Kombat 11, but we're not going to go there. Justin Williams, what's up? Hopefully I started Hey, Justin, aren't you supposed to be at work? You're supposed to be at work, Justin, cuz I typically do my streams at 12 midnight and then you work 
and then astronaut i'm glad you do you're doing your streams because i just got off work so why is justin skipping out on work justin you know you got bills bro you got bills why are you at home right now why are you at home right now anyways nrs is hiring right now just letting you know <laughs> anyways so okay so the joker's dialogue so got a new job and times are different okay okay fine i'll let you off the hook justin i might get a private eye just to spy to see what's going on just to make sure you're not like like skip it out on work because man you got to pay your bills right there's some things that need to be explained, like smoke and other revenant cicada and congen right right chocolate so so anyway so that teaser trailer with harley quinn scan cassie cage and then joker and i'm like and so we got that we, we they let us down with the dialogue in my opinion um and then on top of that now okay 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 follow guys follow me if you will maybe i'm gonna take joker I, you mean to tell me all they could come up with for like a skin for him or for his initial like like loadout that we saw in that teaser was just his basic joker get up that we've seen that we've seen him in for like for like decades like this is the first time he makes an official appearance in the in the mortal Kombat universe aside from the mk versus dc that doesn't count so this is the first time he's on a roster for a mortal Kombat game and all they can think of all the creativity they could do they just put him in that basic purple and green getup that we've seen him in for like 40, de 40, 40 decades, 40 decades, 40 years, as long as that comic book has been around. I'm like, really? I'm like, come on. Y'all couldn't have given us like, like, you know, like a Heath Ledger Joker getup, given us like the, the was it the, the Joaquin Phoenix? Who was, who was the actor who just played him in the Joker? Was it Joaquin Phoenix? Or I feel like I'm, it was something Phoenix, whatever. But they couldn't have given us a loadout of one of the jokers from one of the current movies they couldn't give it up they couldn't give us like a get up, get up of you know just remix his outfit a little bit you know because like even the smile everything was just comic book it was straight up comic book like the smile on face the outfit it was all just comic book i'm guessing his customization will be suit hair and cane see and that's getting me started on a whole other issue because really the the customization in Mortal Kombat 11 sucks i'm sorry guys if y'all love the customization but you know what when you when you have a game with all the customization possibilities and you they have it set up to where you can customize things on some of the characters but the customization is so small you get a difference when you're playing them in game so they might as well you know it's like that's another issue i got with Mortal Kombat 11. they too many too many aspects of some of their costumes are so small that you can customize that you don't even see the difference you don't even see the difference what's the point of customizing them if you can't see the difference of their of their in their outfit when you're playing the game that's the whole point of customizing your character so they can look different anyways i digress so going back to the joker so we have this basic loadout i agree the conversation is lackluster totally but like i said that's why you can works for nrs What's up, Machiavelli? Man, it's been a while. I know everybody's coming into the stream. They're like, man, it's been a while. Oh, my God, Hero. Hero's still alive. Yeah, I know. I know I'm still alive. I have no good excuse for why I've been gone. But anyways, guys, so so we get the Joker. He looks straight up out of the comic, which is pissing me the F off. They, they should give us DLC like, I want to know how Chronica get rid of the Elder Gods. Yeah, don't see. That's another thing I would change about Mortal Kombat because the storyline wasn't that great, and it's still. And you know, guys, is it just me, or have y'all forgotten about Chronica? I have totally forgotten about her. Like, I, I was hyped up about her. It was exciting to see her in the story mode, but since she wasn't playable, like I have forgotten about. I, I actually forget about her unless I see like a news article or if I see like something about the story mode. But I forget about Chronica. I mean, do y'all forget about her? Maybe y'all are still playing towers. If y'all are playing like um, you know, the regular towers and y'all are still fighting her as the boss, or if y'all are replaying the story mode, you still remember Kronika or you're still thinking about her, like but I've like forgotten about her. And you know, and I'm like, that sucks. Why would they give us a brand new, like a female boss for the first time? And then one, she's not playable, and then two, you just they just forget about her because can't do anything with customization for her we can't do anything with you know you can't do fatalities on her and it was like what the point what's the point of even having her there hey resting statue welcome to welcome to the live stream i prefer the original timeline i don't want another reboot 
Actually, I do want to. I want to. I want to be done with this timeline. Chronica should be playable. Yeah, she should have been, and she should have had customization. Like, that's part of what helps to keep the game going. Like this, they gotta. They this game has to have like a two year life cycle, at least. So it's like, why not put as much stuff in this game that'll keep fans going and playing over and over? It's like making it to where you can't play as Chronica. That's no fun, you know. Like, imagine her second account. You mean her second loadout or like her second Chronica have like several variations just like everybody else. You know, like Mortal Kombat X was perfect. What they did in Mortal Kombat X they had Shinnok and you could play him in his original form so that he was just, it, you know, it was even. It was even to like, you know, he was basically on the same level as everyone else. There was no, you know, there was no over buffing of his character. But of course, then they had Corrupted Shinnok, which nobody could play as. But that was fine. I didn't want to play as Corrupted Shinnok anyway, because he was boring and he was overpowered. But it was, they, they did him perfectly. So with Kronika, it is still played as Kronika with different loadouts and different gear and all that stuff. But no, they, they didn't do that. That was just too out the box. There was a leak where Shinnok and Melina were so, was supposed to be DLC. Oh, well. I'm going to get to Melina in a second. Okay, so guys, going back to Joker. I'm sorry, guys, that the screen is shaking because I'm not using my stand. And so I normally use my stand, but I, I decided. Um, so going back to Joker. So they give us a teaser trailer. His outfit's boring. His face paint is the same. This is really boring, guys. The only thing I'm looking forward to with the Joker is seeing his fatalities. It's going to be cool to see, see his combos. Um, uh, let's see. Man, they should bring back Onaga the Dragon. Reminiscent of Mark Hamill, okay? Who cares, Astro? Chocolate. Grr. Okay, so, um, yeah, so I'm like, I, I don't, the only thing I'm concerned about with Joker is his fatalities, seeing his combos, and seeing the different costumes and the different loadouts he'll have. But as far as him, I'm not all that excited about it because visually they haven't given us a lot to go off of. He looks the same as he as he always has, you know. At least the good thing, Sindel, for example, you know, when we when we got Sindel, she did not look the same as she did in Mortal Kombat X. Actually, she didn't look the same at all from any of the past games. They totally, like like they totally did her, you know, from the ground up. They just totally just did a whole new revamp. You know, she still looked like herself, but at the same time, she looked modified, which was perfect. You know, because I don't want to play the same Sindel from Mortal Kombat X when she was the when she was the you know the invasion boss and all that crap. I want to play a brand new Sindel. Same thing for the Joker. I want to play a brand new Joker. Um. Anyways, so okay, so I was just asking everybody what they thought about. So guys, so what do y'all think about them changing her her canon in? Um, a lot of people want Melina back. I'm going to get to Melina. Oh, actually, I said I was going to do Melina before I went to uh, Sindel. Okay, guys, so here is my theory. For anyone who clicked on this video because you saw in the title, I said Melina DLC theory, okay? I have a theory that Melina is possibly going to be DLC because, you know, it's stupid they changed her story. Yes, it is stupid, Chocolate, and I'm going to get to that in a second because I think I think Ed Boon has kind of turned over NRS to some of the new some some of the new designers and programmers and he's letting them do whatever the hell they want to do and i don't think that's right i think i think if if nrl still has some of the original crew of like you know they were still mid back in the 200s 2000s they probably would have done a better job with keeping sindel and her story intact but i'm not gonna go into that melina gone into the next game yeah 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 i know i was saying that too Buchan, but i'm just gonna throw this theory out here because if i'm Right, I'm gonna have bragging rights. So I'm not a fan of Sindel, but I wasn't, I wasn't a fan of her new story. I hate it. Yeah, her new story is awful too. Yeah, it's awful. Anyways, so here's my theory about Molina. NRS is already like showing they're already breaking the rules. Like the rule has always been okay. If someone was a DLC, like Ed Boon said, if someone was already a DLC in a past game, they couldn't be a DLC in a future game. Okay, so that's cool. So we, we counted out all the DLC from Mortal Kombat 9, D Mortal Kombat 10. Okay, Mortal Kombat 11 comes around. M Melina has never been DLC, so she actually still fits in that category. But um, the big argument now is Katana has been given all, like not all, but she has her side and she has her dropkick. So that kind of is a deconfirm. That typically is a deconfirm for Mortal Kombat, a game. You know, like, you know, even, even with... Um, with uh what's his name aaron black aaron black uses reptiles acid and shang sung uses reptiles moves 
or his some of his moves. So typically, one character getting another character's moves is a deconfirm, like almost 100%. But it looks like with Mortal Kombat 11, they're kind of breaking some rules here and there. Like even the life cycle, they broke the rule with the life cycle. Instead of us getting the the trailer for Mortal Kombat 11 on E3, we ended up getting it later on in the year. So they kind of broke, you know, Ed Boon said, okay, we're breaking the rule of the two-year life cycle. Okay, so they broke that rule there. Then they broke the rule of having a male boss. They ended, they gave us Kronika, okay? Um, and then the rule is that if you see a character playing with the moveset of another character, that character has been deconfirmed, kind of like Jade from Mortal Kombat X. But follow me on this, guys. If you notice, by, by those rules, I would have assumed that we weren't going to get Joker because if y'all notice, Johnny Cage has a Joker skin. So in a manner of speaking... In a, in a manner of speaking, by the rules that NRS typically plays by, I would have guessed that Joker would not have been DLC in this game because we are getting a Joker skin for for Johnny Cage. So it's kind of like why have you? So you're kind of having two characters who are similar in the same game. That being the case, if they're going to break the rule and allow jo allow Johnny Cage to have a Joker skin and then turn around and put Joker in the game. Who's to say that they're not going to turn around, like, give Katana Molina as well and then turn around and put Molina in the game? Do y'all follow me on that, that logic? Does that make sense to y'all? I mean, regardless of whether you agree with me or not, does that make sense, though? Are y'all are y'all following me with that logic? Talk to me. Hello. Hi. I'm here for you in your comments. <laughs> Dare. Feel free to use the keyboard on your phone or computer, whichever you're using to view this, view this live stream. <laughs> so guys, does that make sense to you? Do y'all see my logic? They didn't do it with Jade, unfortunately, but I understand. But see, but, but see, yet again, you can, the reason I'm saying they might do a Mortal Kombat 11 is that they've given Jay, like Johnny Cage Joker skin. So that's why I'm like, like you're right, it laid out. And they gave Katana, but you know what? But then again, like, what's interesting? But but see, the thing about Jay and Katana in Mortal Kombat 10 is that they didn't just they didn't give like in Mortal Kombat 10, Katana only Katana had Jade's entire move set. Katana had Jade in she the entire move set. She had the the staff. She had the glaive. She had the 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 kick. The like the shadow kick, she had the um, uh, she had everything. In Mortal Kombat X, like Katana had everything of Jade. Now in Mortal Kombat Eleven, Katana does not have Molina's entire move set. She just has the drop kick, and she pulls out, and she doesn't even throw like, and she and she just pulls out the 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 the, the sigh ever so often. So so that's why I'm saying. There is some room for there to be a huge surprise. And on top of that, let me throw in the fact. I know some of y'all might say, yeah, yeah, astronaut, BS, BS, we don't agree. But, and I will throw out the fact that Ed Boon loves big surprises. Because y'all remember the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? Do y'all remember the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? Cowabunga, Pizza Time, Splinter. What have you got? Okay, Chocolate said, what if she got Sindel move in Mortal Kombat 12? VR says, NRS don't want Katana, Revenant, Katana, and Melina all in the same game. I know, I know, Caviar, I know. This is why it's called a theory. But just, but I'm saying, Boom loves a massive surprise. And, you know, what if Melina is just this huge, huge, huge surprise? Because to me, I feel like they have left room to leave her in there. Yes, yeah, Splinter was missing, mm -hmm. and they and they and they have never done DLC before. So DLC before, and they did not give Katana her entire move set like they did for Jade. Now, if Katana was like doing the variations from like Melina's variations, like her her um, piercing variation or, or her uh, like uh, the what you call it the um, ethereal variation or. Those, if she was doing the straight up variation, if she, had... I would definitely say deconfirm. 
But it wasn't. She doesn't have her entire move set. She doesn't have her entire move set. And um, and on top of that, another point is that they're breaking canon with Sindel. They totally broke canon with Sindel and gave her an entirely different storyline that broke canon of the original timeline before the reboot. Oh, sorry, do you play Combat League? No. No. Well, I have from time to time, but normally. So anyway, so guys, that's my Molina theory. I don't think she's coming. MK Potter, sorry, that not a proper comparison at all. JC has one skin out of 20, 70 plus with the color scheme of Joker. It's not a Joker skin, and more importantly, no one has even has even one of Joker's moves. Well, I see your point. I see your point. But at the same time, giving like, do you think it's just a coincidence that he just happens to have um like a a a, a purple and green loadout that he can use? On top of that, like of all the characters, Johnny Cage is the one that probably acts the most, and most like the Joker, just with how he carries himself. So I mean, they were clearly inspired by Joker when they gave him that, that you know, which allows him to you know, and for anyone who's a Joker, you can put Joker, you can put Johnny Cage in that loadout and play and you know, do whatever. But it's true, he doesn't have any moves from the Joker. That's true, that's true. So. It said, can't, can't please everyone. All the game, plus she was in the last two MKs. What if Shinnok's ending from Mortal Kombat 4 was canon? Hmm. I don't remember. I don't remember his ending from Mortal Kombat 4. Anyway, so, um, well, guys, so, I'm sorry. Okay, so, that was just a theory. So, if anyone has, is taking a photo of Astronaut and placing him on, placing my photo on a wall and taking a bat and going, Astronaut's wrong, you can stop now. It was just a theory. Put the bat down, you know, I, you know, you don't have to pull a Batman on me. Okay, did you see what I just did? Wah, 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 bat, Batman. <laughs> okay, so moving on to Sindel. So, visually, does she look great? Yes. Is her moveset really good? Yes. Did they keep her true to how she's always been? Yes. Did they give her some really cool new added moves that are really fun to use? Yes. Do you like the Banshee feature they gave to her? This mysterious spirit that seems to be possessing her? I like it. Um, um, did, um, did they give her her float back? Yes. I love that. I don't like the fact that her moveset is limited when she does the float, though. If y'all notice, when she does do the float and she starts going back and forth... She can only do so much. All she can do is basically kind of use it to maneuver around the character. She can't really use it as a base for attacks, which sucks. I honestly was hoping that they were going to do an Ermac thing with her, where she, where she was going to have more attacks when she did her aerial thing, which would have been smarter, but they didn't do that. So, um, but her hair looks great. Um, some of her intros, you know, to be honest with y'all, I don't know... What do y'all what do y'all think about Sindel's intros? Like some of some of her intros, I kinda like they kind of made her more spicy. Like Sindel has never been spicy before. Sindel's new storyline is awesome, in your opinion. Buchan, well now we know who came up. Since you work for uh, NRS, that you're clearly the one who put the storyline in the game. Okay, so everyone, we can thank Buchan for that awful new story mode. I'm sorry, storyline. Joking, joking, Buchan. Uh, I want Ermac back as DLC. His design is sick. Deshaun, you know. Um, yeah, so uh, what was I saying about Sindel? So I was saying, um, oh, yeah, so they, they made her spicy. She's really spicy now. Um, I don't necessarily know, like, for the game, I think it kind of makes her more exciting for the game. But in general, I kind of prefer, like, traditional uh, Sindel. And I liked her original story mode before they changed it because Sindel was supposed to be more of a hero character. But now she's more of, like, a this Elvira type, you know, like, kind of this dark, sinister character who's as evil as Shao Kahn. I don't like that. I liked it better when she was a hero who was fighting with Earthrealm. Um, um, now she's kind of like this, like this, sedu like this seductress who's kind of seducing people, flirting with people. You know, she's, 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 she's racist. Clearly, she's racist up against um, 
what's his name? Uh, what's his name? Uh, the collector. She's had, she has those these intros where she's like racist against him, which doesn't make sense to me. Um, she's power tripping. Basically, she she she's in love with Shao Kahn because she she loves the power. I don't like none of that. I liked it better when 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 Sindel was more of a noble noble character. She stood for truth. You know, originally she killed herself because she was she was trying to protect Earth Realm. I liked that about her. It made it seem like she was kind of like a martyr in a way. Um, have you seen Sindel's ending? Is great. Yeah, of course, of course. I don't like the ending. You know, because that's what she was like. I had to protect. Oh well, I, I'm not going to ruin it. Some people haven't se- haven't seen the ending for her, so I won't ruin it. But the ending, I didn't like it. Um, mainly because they changed canon. But you know, but the thing that do- that doesn't make sense to me is like, why would you leave a character? for dlc but then do something as drastic as changing canon but because that's pretty drastic if you're going to change canon at least makes it make this person put them in the story mode so we can see what happens going in the story mode that helps us to to, helps to explain why canon was changed but they're going to have sindel the ending we already know that buchan but they're going to leave her for dlc with her we didn't we didn't get a conclusion with her revenant we didn't get a chance to see her doing anything in the story mode with revenant and then when she, she shows up as dlc and then all of a sudden they change her canon you know so that didn't make sense to me that didn't make sense to me at all you know i you know i, I, mean, I don't know about you guys but i don't like it when they bring dlc characters back and 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 some of the some of the dlc characters are really juicy they They've done some little changes with them, but because they're DLC, we didn't get a chance to see the explanation, a good explanation in the story mode of what happened to them or why they're different now. Like, I would have liked Sindel in the story mode and seen where this Banshee ghost came from. But since she's DLC, and NRS was able to basically put her in the game, put that in the game, and not explain it at all. Like, ooh, look at Sindel. She has this ghost that has possessed her, and you'll never know why. And they don't even explain the Banshee in her ending. They don't even explain where the, the ghost character came from. Yeah, yeah, like Triborg and NKX. I mean, Triborg was a really juicy character. That was a really juicy possible storyline to explain how Cyrex Sector and Smoke all became one character. But no, what did they do? They threw them in as DLC and didn't explain. Like my girl Sindel, pure evil. Okay, now the ghost. We'll give your past knowledge. You're in my live stream, and I appreciate that. I don't like Triborg as canon. I don't think Triborg. No, 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 he's not. Canon, yeah. See, but see, my point is, it makes me angry when they do all these juicy changes to these DLC characters, but we get a chance to see them in the story mode, and it's not canon. Anyways. Going back to Sindel. So, overall... Guys, don't don't get the wrong impression. I'm not saying I hate Sindel or I'm I'm mad at Sindel. I love her. I'm glad she's in the game. I like how she played. She would have explained it better. Even in her end, see the animations with the ghost though. It really is. It really is. It really is cool. Or that intro where the ghost kind of possesses her before the round starts. That's really interesting. It's really interesting. All right, so guys, um. So what you, so guys, so I've discussed Joker, guys. If y'all are new to the stream, I think I'm, I'm think I'm thinking this. We're still with the same group that started because we I don't have a lot of people in here right now. But um, but if you are new to the stream, we've gone through the Joker, we've gone through Melina theories, and we've gone through uh, Sindel and everyone's thoughts. So guys, does anyone have a Joker? Like, what do you guys want from Joker when he hits? I think what January twenty eighth. I think is it the twenty sixth or the twenty eighth? I believe he's he's going to be free. So what do you guys want to see from the Joker? I want to see better loadouts. I want to see better outfits. I don't want to play in his classic gear. I don't want to do that. I want to. I want. Uh, I, I would at least hope that they give him a really cool skin. I'm about Ninja Batman, a mock up, a mock up of a Batman skin. That would be funny. That would be terrible. crazy fast gameplay. Okay. Yeah. I think um, his play style. Yeah, you know, I wonder if they're gonna keep it similar to how he played in more. I want to see the Dark Knight skin. Mm, yeah, see, they have a lot to play with. You know, if they're borrowing from movies, which they are, they borrow. They, you know, they already took. You know, the character who plays Shang. Excuse me. They they took the character from Shang, like the character who plays Shang Tsung, put him in the game. They the Terminator from the Terminator movies. So they're clearly they they're clearly material movies 
Clearly. So no excuse for the room to not give the Joker some really good skins from the movies. Because, I mean, uh, nurse, it would be great to see him dressed up as the nurse. The crazy nurse. I would love to see a, a crazy nurse skin. Um, I would love to see, uh, you know, um, uh, just something classic comic book get up. Just don't do that. That's all I'm saying. Joaquin Phoenix version. You give us the Joaquin Phoenix version who makes him look more like a circus clown, you know? They've got to do better. They've got to do better than this. You know, plus, you know, with all the money they got and how they've, like, kind of, like, like other characters who made roster and how good they look, you know, that's the life rest in the DLC and the and the DLCs. That's the life of this game. That's what's going to keep players playing for the next year and a half. So they do not go all out for the Joker because they know that Spawn is right around the corner. And Spawn is, Spawn is going to be the life of this game for most of 2020. But Spawn alone is going to draw a lot of people to play Mortal Kombat 11. People who have never played Mortal Kombat 11 before will business move. Joker movie skin, Dark Knight nurse skin, and Joker from Batman Ninja anime skin would be awesome. Man, Caviar, Caviar, I appreciate a well thought out like answer that was very good you broke it down to all three gave detail everything if this was an english class caviar would get an a for that for that paper right there that was awesome thank you i give you that the, the japanese that the uh whatchamacallit the asian martial arts sign of respect well ed did say we've got a huge surprise next year but what is the the question no okay well i don't know spawn will bring everyone back and bringing new people in exactly see see Buchan, i know i, I see I, Buchan, i'm sure it was probably you probably mentioned spawn to ed and i appreciate that thank you thank you Buchan. it's always good to have people in high places okay it is i mean yes caviar totally a plus a plus man that was that was very detailed i do appreciate that um so guys, um, we're for about 30 minutes, and I do want to make up for all the time I haven't been here. Hence, the, the pit. You know, I think I heard something about that. I heard that we're actually going to get some new stages, but I haven't heard a lot about that. Absolutely, that's what friends are for. <laughs> uh, anyways, okay, so guys, um, Combat Pack 2. Let's talk about Combat Pack 2, because... Uh, so far, it looks like we're gonna get Fujin and Shiva and um, and um, e uh, what was his name from the from the what was it, the Evil Dead? I'm I'm forgetting the Evil Dead character. Um, I really um, guys, who can y'all think who who could they add in 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 Combat Pack Two to top Spawn? Who guys can y'all think of any character that's at Combat Pack 2? To thank you, Machiavelli and Buke, and thank you for reminding me. Ash, it's Ash Williams. Thank you. I'm twitching. <laughs> Nell, take your med Nell, how many times have I told you to stay on your medication? You have to stay on your meds, Nell. We can't have twitching in the live stream. We cannot have twitching in the live stream. I'm sorry. No twitching, Nell. No twitching. Medications. Hashtag Meds for Nell. You can, I'd be happy. Okay, so who? Okay, do y'all think Ash? Wait a minute, do y'all think Ash would top? I don't think, I don't know if Ash would top spawn. I don't know if Ash, I, I mean, I'm excited about Ash, but I think, I think we know for certain with Ash, but I don't know. I don't know if, yeah, Robocop, hmm. You know, you know, honestly, Nell, let's 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 talk, Nell. Okay, we're gonna have a little conversation, okay, Nell. At first, I wasn't so excited about Robocop, and I guess it might be a little redundant since we have Terminator. I don't think people are going to be happy about Shiva being Machiavelli. I won't lie, I'm not excited about Shiva either. I'm Sh Shiva. I'm gonna like, like, drive my car into a pool, and that's pretty. That's pretty. That's pretty aggressive for me. Um, I really would like The Witcher and KP2. Perfect. Okay, KP2, Dreamless, Fujin, Ashiva, Neo. Ooh, Neo! Buchan, don't get me started. Don't get me started about Neo because I wanted Neo for Injustice 2. Neo is a better character therapy over that, Buchan. Please don't mention Neo. I had to talk therapist. Five sessions about it. Okay. Um, but going back to what I was saying, what was I talking about? 
gosh, guys, y'all got me off track. Okay, so uh, I was talking about Ash, and then I was talking about... Um, I was mentioning Robocop being redundant because he would be a, an android, kind of like Terminator. There was something I was saying. And then Neo, fan of Shiva for whatever reason. <laughs> hey, Machiavelli, no shame here. No shame. She was cool. I think she's a little boring, though. But she's cool. I'm trying to remember what I was talking about. Let me look through this this thing. Um, okay. All right. Well, I've lost it. I've lost it. Justin. Justin isn't saying anything. Guys, what's up with Justin? He, he hasn't said anything in like 20 minutes. Justin, like, what's up? Um, so, man, I wish I could remember what I was saying. Okay, so... Going back to the so I was talking about Combat Pack Two, and then who could who could top Spawn, and then we were talking about Ash Williams, and then someone said RoboCop, and then um, and then Shiva, and then um, you know I I just honestly can't think of somebody who would really top Spawn. Um, you know the bad thing about all this DLC list is that we're really running out of people. Like we're really running out of characters. Like like for Mortal Kombat 12, they're gonna have to get really really creative because they're pretty much running through all the movie characters. They're running through all the major movie characters. There's only so many like horror movie characters that they can get to. You know, I mean, at some point maybe they might switch from a lot of the movies to going and finding some villains from comic book series, like classic comic book series. I have to start doing that. But the only thing about that is like only a lot of hardcore comic book fans are gonna recognize some of these characters. I think Neo and Pinhead possibly be bombshell. P Pinhead is a really good, uh, that Pinhead's really good. He's really good. I haven't heard anything about being connected to Mortal Kombat yet. So I don't really think, I don't know if he's really gonna make DLC, but um, as far as someone who would be like better than Spawn, um, I would say, hmm. Honestly, well, you know, I, I would like to, like, you know, I like the fact that they kind of, like, took Kratos. They used Kratos for Mortal Kombat 9. And I really think that it would be cool if they went into, like, like Greek mythology and used some characters from Greek mythology. Kind of like, um, like, I think in one of my past streams a long time ago, I said another DLC character to use would have been really cool because would have been uh, Medusa. Medusa, I think Medusa would have been cool. Like, Pinhead is Quan Chi brother. I don't want him. <laughs> I don't want him. <laughs> no. I thought Medusa would have been a really cool DLC character because one, she's from Greek mythology. Two, she has the snakes, and I said this a long time ago. But you know, I think it would have been it would have made for a really cool animation because most like she would have been one of the first characters that would have had a part of her body moving and completely animated for the entire you know the entire time she was on screen. Like mo if you notice, most characters. They move they, when they breathe or when they're in a stance, they kind of do like a bob back and forth. But nobody literally has like a feature to their body that is constantly moving, you know? So it's like it would have been cool to have Medusa as a DLC because her hair is made of snakes. And then that would have been a cool visual because she would have had snakes moving the entire time while she was on screen. So I thought that would have been a really cool visual, especially since Mortal Kombat 11 is all about visuals. So, I mean, what do you guys think? I mean, are y'all going like kind of like <laughs> Greek mythology? But I thought Medusa would have been really cool. Bob, Bob Shell, Capcom versus MK. Oh, that'll never happen. That'll never happen. Capcom versus MK. That'll never happen. Um, so Medusa would have been cool. Um, or maybe like Hercules. Hercules, Xena, Xena Warrior Princess. Um, you know, just some characters like that. That would be a really interesting way to kind of like, you know. Um, but it, it seems like Netherrealm really wants to stick with horror movies. They really want to stick with movies and things. And plus, it seems like these DLCs, a lot of times, they tend to cross over with the releasing of movies and other series that, that, that are being rebooted, you know? So, so I, you know, I don't know if, if Ed Boon would really want to, like, dig into, like, history to kind of, like, take some characters from history and make them DLC. But that's, a, that's an idea for me. So, yeah, so, guys, I mean, I don't know. Bad signal. I keep going in and out, bro. My bad. Oh, it's cool. I didn't even notice. I'm. I'm not. I, I don't see. The, I don't see any glitch within your 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 posts. Um. So guys, yeah. So um, for Mortal Kombat, I mean Combat Pack Two, we're at Fujin, Shiva, Ash, and 
What was the other person? And who? Somebody mentioned it. Oh, 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 no, no, no. Actually, I think somebody just said Chronica. I don't want Chronica in the in the combat pack. No, no, no. She didn't make Ross. I think Chronica. The concept of Chronica was better than how they played her out. Because the concept with Chronica was great. Yum, yum, yum. I'm eating it all up. I'm totally a user. Yum, yum, yum. But her storyline sucked. You know, the fact that she they made her without even properly giving us, showing a battle. We didn't even see a battle of like uh of uh, uh what's her name um um gosh it's been so long since that I, I mean we didn't even see let's see i do got to go my man have a good night thanks Buchan. tell ed boone i said what's up and let him know i could use some help on bills so send me a check um but uh um yeah we didn't even see a battle with the elder gods i mean we're gonna have such a storyline with with chronica being yeah, see you later. But you, how are you gonna have an epic storyline with Kronika, uh being the first female boss, being greater than the, the 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 elder gods? But yet we don't see how the elder gods fell. We didn't see a battle. We didn't see any of them fighting with one another. Um, it just we just we just they just disappeared. I mean, I'm sorry. They did. I they didn't maximize the possibility of what they could do with Kronika and that whole story mode of making her greater than the elder gods. That was just kind of cheap. It, it was kind of cheap how they played. I mean, guys, what do y'all think? Do y'all did y'all like the like all the details to the whole Kronika story mode of how I liked her create like controlling time and I liked her manipulating time and the merging of the realms and stuff. But there were some details to, her, to the story mode that just didn't make sense. That were kind of cheap. Um. Um. What's her name? Uh, uh, anyways, okay, I can't think. But yeah, so I feel like Kronika was just, they, they really didn't take advantage of using, making the most of her character or doing the best possible story mode. I just don't think so. Um, but yeah, so it looks like we have like five people still in here. So guys, let's, yeah, let me know. Talk to me. Let's have a conversation. Who liked, who liked the story mode exactly the way it was? Did anyone just, just like 100% Percent the story mode because I I didn't I like some parts of it but not and not and not everything um, and I think the the elder gods kind of got soul short and to be honest with you guys I think at this point the, uh, Netherrealm has no choice but to do a rebooted story mode uh, storyline because they 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 ended everything like with the end of Mortal Kombat 11 that story mode ended. That that storyline ended. It ended completely with with Liu Kang being the new Time Titan. I think it was better than than, than X definitely. Nine hell no. Okay, well, yeah, I was very happy about Liu Kang becoming a god. Well, I mean, I'm glad. I'm, you know what? I'll I'll say this. I'm a, I'm a, I'm at least glad that it it ended with Liu Kang and Katana because I really wasn't feeling the whole Sonya and Johnny Cage and Cassie Cage taking over. I didn't like that. I didn't like how they became the main characters in a in a martial arts game, like three blonde Americans, like being the heroes in a martial arts game. Really, MK9 is still the best to me. Yeah, MK9 had the best story mode by, by far, by far. Um, but but yeah, the way they ended Mortal Kombat 11, they have no, like Mortal Kombat 12 is gonna either be like a prequel or it's gonna be a whole new rebooted game because Mortal Kombat they they ended everything. Uh, time. If you notice, guys, when you play the story mode to Mortal Kombat 11, you can't you can't keep time from reversing. It happens automatically when you fight Chronica as the final boss. She reverses. She rewinds time regardless. So the whole story mode is all about you trying to prevent her from rewinding time. And then when you get to play her, she rewinds time anyway. So everything ends. The story, the Revenant storyline ends. Everything ends. Um, they didn't. They didn't explain any of the story. Any of the revenants being restored. None of them. The whole everything just ends. So, so Mortal Kombat 12 either has to be a prequel, or it's gonna have to be. It's gonna have to be a new rebooted story mode because they just can't. They can't. They can't pick up where they left off with Mortal Kombat 11. They just can't because you know what? If they did do that, I don't. I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't know how they're rebooted because Luke Kang survived. 
But see, I'm like, if they did do a reboot at the, like, if they did do a sequel to Mortal Kombat 11, that would mean that Liu Kang would take the place of Raiden. Raiden, I don't even know if Raiden would even be around because Raiden is immortal. He becomes immortal, which means that he would die at some point, which, because Liu Kang is eternal, I guess. And then Raiden became immortal. So that would mean that he would eventually die. And so, but they would still have to have all the characters, all the original characters back in the game. So, so, but, but Liu Kang was still going to spend aeons of aeons in, in the universe, rebuilding and doing whatever he wants to with Katana, because apparently he, he pulled Katana out of time um, to be with him. There's no way they could, they could, there's no way they could do a sequel at the end of that game. There's just no way. That means my boy Fujin should come in and help him. Yeah, I don't want to. I, I don't know how the fans feel, but I don't see Liu Kang in the place of Raiden in another Mortal Kombat game. I want to see Liu Kang the way he's always been. You know, I don't want to see Liu Kang taking Raiden's place. You know, I think it was cool for how they ended it that way, but I don't want to see that be become the normal thing. I wonder if Okanaga would make it in Mortal Kombat 12. I don't know. Yeah, there are some characters, to be honest with you guys, if we're being honest, there are some characters I don't even know if we'll ever see them again. I feel like there are some characters that they have, Netherim has decided to only use them in the background. Because, you know, you see, we see references to certain characters. They're like, Netherim has no problem, like, throwing in references to characters, but they will, there are some characters we have not seen since the 2000s. So there are some characters I don't even know if they'll ever come back. You know, I have accepted that reality. You know, a few years back when we were still kind of, you know, waiting for Mortal Kombat X and all that stuff, you know, I was, I was thinking that maybe they were going to like kind of like, you know, c cipher in different characters in and out, in and out. But now at this point, I don't even know. I don't know. I mean, there's some characters I don't even know if we'll ever see them again. So, um, no, but to to be fair, in all honesty, most of the characters that we haven't seen before, they're not characters that I don't, I'm not all that crazy on. There are some characters I would like to see back, but for the most part, the majority. Now, now I say that, but I've made some people mad because there are some people who love those three three D era games, and it sounds like they were they got so mad at me, they might have actually like unsubscribed. I don't know. So, <laughs> yeah, you got a point on that, bro. Ed did say they have seventy something MK fighters, and and all can't be in. Yeah, like, and and on top of that, it looks like Ed Boon has hired like a whole new staff. Like, there's like a whole new generation. Like, there's like a next generation of staffers that are in the. I've been with. They haven't been with Ed Boon since the beginning. You know, unless they make an Armageddon new version. You know, the 90s and 2000s. And Ed Boon seems to be allowing a lot of the new developers and a lot of the new team to have a lot of liberties with. Um, the the characters killing off people creating storylines stuff like that so I, honestly to be honest with you guys i think ed boone is kind of of the mindset hey as long as the game as long as the franchise is making money y'all can do whatever the hell y'all want to do that's what i think i think ed boone i mean he i don't think i mean i'm not trying to say this as a bad thing but i don't think ed boone is all that concerned with trying to like just like oh you know mortal kombat is my baby and i got to make sure i got to preserve it i got to preserve it I don't think he's all that concerned with kind of pre preserving it the way the fans would like to see it preserved, like with all their favorite characters and everything kept the way it's always been. I don't think he's concerned about that. I think he has a new team of guys, and he's like, "Hell, y'all can have y'all are free reign as long as as long as we're making money. I'm I'm on board, you know." So I think Ed Boon, that's what Ed Boon is doing, and yeah. What if they don't do Mortal Kombat 12 and instead they do a Mortal Kombat 3 reboot? Well, it's kind of complicated at this point because it's like if they did a Mortal Kombat 3 reboot, would it be a, a Mortal Kombat 3 reboot that's based on the original timeline or a Mortal Kombat re 3 reboot that would be, that's based on this rebooted timeline? Like I'm like because of all the, the, the shifting in time, I'm kind of confused. Like if they go back and pat into the past, like which timeline pass are y'all even going back into because there's just too much time jumping going on so but i would like to see a sequel i mean i really would like to see a sequel and i would like to see maybe some characters that were around um before the the first mortal kombat tournament that maybe didn't make it or got killed before you know they got killed before the first tournament started you know so 
Anyways, just like Mortal Kombat 3 reboot, like the Resident Evil 2 reboot. It's easy if they reboot, they make a Mortal Kombat and skim through all the games we played and get to Onaga or One Bring, one bring Stuff. Hmm. LB, hey, what's up? I just realized who just posted that. What's up, LB? Welcome to the stream. It's been a long time. Shouldn't have left you without a dope beat to step two, step two, step two, step two, step, step two, step two. Ficky, ficky. Who remembers that song? Am I like, I know I'm super old. Does anyone, can anyone tell me that part I just sang of the three people in this stream right now? Can anyone tell me where that song was from or where those lyrics were from? What song, what artist? Does anyone know? Timbaland, yes. But who was the artist? Because he said that on somebody's track. Caviar, thank you. Caviar, dude, Caviar is like the all-star tonight. Caviar is the all-star. First, he's given like this, like these A-plus like answers with details and everything. And he's guessing the, st the, the, the music that I, man, if I was doing a giveaway of like a, like a gift card or something, Caviar would totally get it. <laughs> uh, Eric B and Rocky. No, no, LB. No. Wah, wah, wah. Oh, you talking about the remake? I, I thought you seen the original take in song. Oh, now LB trying to smooth it out. He trying to play it off like, oh, oh, I thought she was talking about the original. Anyways, but yeah. So, guys, yeah, I guess that's. um. I've pretty much gone for a good hour on this stream. Um, I There was a lot that I wanted to make videos about, but it looks like I crammed it all into this live stream, which kind of lets me just kind of cheat out of making other videos. So, um, but guys, what I'm going to try to do from here on out, I think I'm going to just try to hit the record button, get some live streams going, and upload just the live streams uh, until I can find a time to just start uploading regularly again. But there's a lot going on, so, uh, but it's easy to just hit, a, I mean, and I'm still surprised that many of you still showed up. I really thank you guys a lot for still, uh, you know, uh, y'all must have hit the notification bell on my, on my channel to get the notification that I was on live tonight to be able to show up. So I do thank you guys for sticking with me. If you're new to the channel, please feel free to subscribe. I do jump on from time to time. Um, and I'm going to, um... Try to upload some stuff. I'm starting to realize that people really like some of the ideas I have about Mortal Kombat. You know, like, my channel isn't all that big about getting into, like, like analyzing a lot of the, you know, there's a lot of channels that like to upload a lot of, like, game footage and break down, like, you know, you know, uh, using down one, down two, you know, you know, um, uh, like, neutral drop punch, you know, all the, like, the, the technical jargon and stuff like that. My channel isn't like that. I don't do, like, blow by blows i don't upload the video footage which i would love to and it's very expensive to get all the gear together but i still get no notifications i randomly popped up on my recommendations okay okay cool um but my channel is like i'm i'm really deep into like you know uh kind of philosophizing about the mortal kombat franchise uh conceptualizing things talking about you know character storylines breakdowns things like that and i'm slowly realizing that there's a lot of people a lot of fans out there who really appreciate that and so I'm thankful for that because that's what my channel really is more more or less about. And I like to just kind of do reviews of what what a lot of the current information is about the news releases, the DLCs, what Ed Boon's been tweeting and talking about. So that's pretty much what this channel is all about. So I like to just be creative and throw out concepts and um, just kind of keep things fresh with like, you know, kind of feeding the fire of, of what would be really good for Mortal Kombat to do. And what's funny is sometimes I don't know if Mortal Kombat, I don't know if NRS is listening or if they secretly, which I do believe they do. I do think that they go through some of the YouTube videos and listen in and they might be borrowing stuff and not saying it. But, you know, it's really cool to talk about things as a theory and then you, you turn around and you actually see that no, that NRS has put that in the game. You know, I've seen that. I've seen that. Um, but you know what, guys? I'm still waiting for them to put Blanche. You know, I heard that Blanche might be DLC. So we'll just have to see. Blanche might end up in Mortal Kombat 12. I mean, I'm sorry, in Combat Pack 2. She might end up in Combat Pack 2. Blanche might do that. So I really hope so because I heard... Um, there was a theory that Blanche was going to be DLC and they were going to give her a skin where she was going to basically kind of have like this, um, um, what was it? I think they said it was going to be a, uh, uh, like, a 
like they were gonna give her a really cool skin i forgot uh like they were gonna give her like um um like uh well i forget but yeah she was gonna have really cool skin so um so guys if y'all see confirmation of blanche being in combat pack 2 please let me know because it's very important to me that i be able to play as blanche blanche needs to get her revenge and that's very very important to me you know so um um Yes. Oh, actually, oh, I, I remember. They were. They. I heard a rumor that Blanche, Blanche was gonna get a Storm DLC skin, and so, so basically, so, so guys, I, I hope we can look forward to playing as Blanche in a Storm from uh, what you call it, uh, from the X Men. I hope we can get a Storm uh, um, skin for Blanche and be, be able to play Blanche. So yeah. So guys, yes, definitely, definitely. Any thoughts about that? <laughs> Does anyone else want to play as Blanche? Don't be shy. Please feel free to share. All right, guys. Everyone has either gone to get some snacks or they're playing Mortal Kombat 11 or some other video game while they have this stream going and whatever. But as always, thank you for tuning in. I will see you guys next time. And uh, y'all have a good night. Take care. I hope you all had a good Christmas and enjoy New Year's Eve and be safe. All right. Bye, guys. Now, Blanche is the woman who gets thrown. Oh, Justin, now you want to talk. When I'm leaving, you want to tell me. Oh, fine. Fine. Be like that, Justin. Okay. Nell, see you later. Thanks, Caviar. Bye. Thanks, Caviar, for all the great input. Um, uh, What's McCall? I was about to, Oh, yeah. Nell, you don't know who Blanche no, no, I'm not going to tell you who Blanche is. No, you're going to take your phone and Google Blanche. Type in Mortal Kombat, type in Blanche, and the next time I do a live stream, that's your homework assignment. You're going to have to tell me who Blanche is, okay? Nell has a homework assignment. Everyone remember that. And when we have another live stream, everyone, y'all are going to have to help me, remind me to tell Nell that he has to do, he has to like, let a, he has to explain who, who Blanche is for the live stream. That's his homework assignment. All right, guys, I'll see you guys later. Bye.